when when you're turned on right away to a person you don't know, it's purely mm. dopamine. It's mm. purely dopamine. There, it's it's uh, a safer dynamic is, you know, if let's understand dopamine. Dopamine is the addictive brain chemical. So if I'm a child, I eat lots of sugar, which produces high dopamine. Vegetables don't taste good. Right. There's a brain change that happens where you become dependent on higher stimulation, higher um, dopamine. Dopamine is produced from new and different or dangerous. Some women are completely turned on to dangerous men. See, women right. have this amazing intuition, whereas he may even be married and she's turned on to him. There's no chance. So that's a danger. Uh, right. He may be taking drugs, alcoholic, uh, and the signs are there, but she doesn't see him because she's so turned on. Right. Uh, he may not have a job. Okay, that's definitely dangerous to be with a man who doesn't have a job. And maybe that turns her on because a part of her doesn't feel worthy of having a man take care of her. And we call this in psychology a daddy issue. Mm. If your daddy wasn't available to you. Now, this doesn't happen for every woman whose daddy wasn't available. But we look into psychology when a woman keeps getting turned on to strangers that they, she doesn't know who doesn't know her, who haven't earned their way into the palace, okay? you got to earn your way in as a man, providing the kind of support as opposed to imagined. She imagines she can get what she needs from him on one part of her brain, but the other part of her brain knows this is not the right guy, but you're turned on to him, so you pursue it as curious, you, you lust for it. Any of those feelings, it's the wrong direction. And so if you've had that as a pattern, and some women listening have, where you've been with men who, after you made love, they're just not interested in you anymore. Right. Or, you know, there's a, a great date. You think, what happened? He doesn't call back. You know, what's, what is going on in, inside of her? She picks the wrong men to go out with. Now, why does she pick those wrong men? Because there's wrong men. And there's also good men out there who just aren't going to chemically connect to right, you right they don't get to biology. Yeah. Yeah, so just because a man is good doesn't mean he's going to be in love with you okay we have our own uniqueness and there's a there's smells of genetic diversity that affect our attraction to each other what is how our genes are going to go together and you kiss somebody it's another activation of it and clearly when there's intercourse there's a huge activation of it but having said all that why is a woman keep this is a woman who has a pattern of attracting, being attracted to the wrong man. Right. Or the flip side of that, if you're, if you are, if you're in a sense addicted to the excitement and thrill of amazing, you know, it's like the Pretty Woman movie where he takes his woman on the streets, he puts her in his private jet, and he takes her here and he takes her there. You know, this is a relationship that's doomed. Uh, <laughs> I know. So, Sounds like okay. my my so, first marriage. <laughs> yes, yeah, it's just like very impressive, very exciting. Oh my god, it was so much fun for whatever so, months it lasted. <laughs> so, to the extent that we're addicted to the thrill, the excitement, okay. or the sexual immediate sexual interest, okay, yeah. what that does that's like eating sugar, and so you have a habit in your life of depending upon high stimulation. Right. That inhibits your ability to be turned on eventually to the right person. Mm. The right person. What, what would be in that person. situation when, when if if the woman is turned on by this dangerous man, and so what what is her solution to to take her time to not jump into an immediate relationship? No, or... jump right into another relationship. It's basically. To recognize your biology for a while is not going to be excited by the right man. You're okay. excited by the wrong man. That means you're not excited to the right man. So right. there'll be men you have to date who just because they have the qualities of somebody who has a good job and they're interested in you, they're motivated right. to please you. Uh, you can, you know, you want to, you don't want to lead somebody on, but you can say, you know, I'm, I'm, at, I, I'm not really ready to get in a committed relationship now. I'm sort of just enjoying myself. Okay. So you're not setting them up, but you're going to use men. You're going to use men uh, to practice the skills of being feminine. Right. Now, the skill, of, the opposite of being feminine is trying to please somebody as, as paradoxical as that sounds. 
you know, we have a lot of people pleaser women and their temperament, it tends to be more wanting to please others because they're nurturers for children. So you, you give unconditionally to children. So that's in your genes. Yeah. But with a man, when you give him more than what he's giving you, and certainly a dangerous man has no potential to give you what you want. You feel, oh, if I just give to him, I'll get back. That's why they call it a father uh, issue because my dad wasn't there for me. I still need to like, I can prove, I can be what you want me to be. There's like an urge to please a man, to need a man so much, that guy right away. Okay, so the, the safe guy, the right guy, and I can't say it's the first guy you're gonna date, but you want to start dating men who are more interested in you then you're interested in them. And you're definitely not interested in having sex with them anytime soon. Even if you're horny, uh-huh. hold off. Okay, <laughs> just, you, you wanna have a man generate those feelings inside of you by dating you, honoring you, pleasing you, asking him for help, getting him to do stuff for you. 